the honk are you? Welcome to Roverland, the channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. I'm your friend Dan. Oh, guess what I got today? I don't know. Um, I don't think I'm going to do this as an unboxing uh, Saturday video, even though it will be an unboxing. A uh, big shout out to Joseph Lowe, uh, Hills, um, Hills Valley, Virginia. Um, I don't know. I might even have to start another uh, <laughs> playlist, and that would be of uh, trade boxes and stuff like that because I, I do so much um, business, business, <laughs> buying, selling, and trading that uh, unboxing Saturdays is just not enough. And, you know, who wants to watch three hours of me uh, going through cool stuff, right? Well, I don't know. Maybe you do. We're going to come on down here now that we got the box open. And, uh, yeah, so Joe and I have uh, done uh, um, now two or three uh, trade boxes and stuff like that. Big Land Rover guy. Big hearted dude. He is an awesome guy. And, uh, yeah, he po posted on Facebook, uh, hey, check it out. I'm trying to sell some stuff, right? And I'm like, hey, dude, I'll take everything you got. What do you got? <laughs> and he's like, okay. So we worked out a price and a trade and all this and all that. Um, each individual deal is subject to, uh, you know, uh, whatever. And uh, so here you go. This is what I got from Joseph. It is awesome. All right, so let's just get right into it. I know that he had, yeah, yep, this was from a while ago. And, uh, you know, it's very kind of people to uh, pick things up for me and kind of hold on to them, you know. Uh, he picked this up for uh, me uh, a while ago. These are kind of hard to get a hold of. I don't have the, uh, many as many as these as I'd like. The 2004 Range Rover Evoke. This is the new recolor for 2020. And uh, so he had this and he uh, shot a picture uh, to me. Uh, we're buddies on Facebook, Rover Land. Go over, check it out. And uh, yeah, so he, you know, he got that as well as this one here. This is a black, uh, the Hot Wheels Range Rover Velar. Uh, so yeah, you know, it's really kind of nice. I know, you know, it's only a couple of bucks, but you know, these guys, and I'll do it too. You know, hold on to stuff for you for a month or two, you know, just set it aside like that. And, uh, you know, when you get together uh, a, a package worth shipping, because, you know, I love shipping. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, you know, so I really appreciate that, guys, if you want to do something like that. All right, let's just get right into it. Uh, he did a wonderful packing job. I'm going to have a mess all over the floor. But anyway, let's get into it. I am excited about this. Yes. Uh, get some lighting going here, a little bit better lighting. So this is the Freelander. Yeah, so mainly uh, what we're going to have is Freelanders and the Range Rovers from Matchbox. So just to let you know what's going on. This is a nice one, early model. I think this is, isn't this the first one? Metal base, metal body, the powder turbo. Very cool. Gets a, some kind of order to this. All right, this is the... Uh, 50th birthday edition um Rhode Island Yacht Club this is yeah right there on the back there the 50 years uh celebration there so really kind of cool plastic no nope, this was a metal base because this is kind of a premium uh th deal but uh very very cool uh let's just kind of move right along I like that no tape you don't need to tape them once you roll them up and get them in the box they're not going to come unraveled love it love it all right, another Freelander. Now, this one is the plastic uh, base to it, black. Very, very nice. Now, this is the uh, Canyon Park. Very, very cool. And I think I got another, yeah, another one here. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Joseph. He does a great job. I love it. So much easier. Canyon base again here. Very, very nice. Now, this is the plastic gray with... Uh, Calf scour green puke baby puke green. I'm not really sure what they call that. Uh, talk about uh, uh, contrasting colors. I don't know. But anyway, somebody had a good day at uh, Matchbox picking out those colors. Oh, here's a nice one. Yeah, this is kind of a hard one to get a hold of uh, because it comes in a five pack and it is um, trademarked by Warner Brothers. This is the Tasmanian Devil, yes. 
uh, Looney Tunes, isn't it? Tasmanian? I believe it. I don't want to get in trouble, but uh, yeah, plastic base. Very nice graphics on it. Very cool. There's the Taz. Metallic uh, bluish gray to it. Uh, red tint to the windows. Very nice example. Wow, this is just, this is like a blister pull there. Very, very nice. Cool. All right, uh, let's try this one back here. I don't know what these are. Oh, the, oh he sent me some extras. We're going to wait for that one. Uh, let's just dig right in here with some of these uh, Range Rover. Oh, this might not be a Range Rover. What is it? Oh, yeah, another Freelander. So, yeah, there we go. He was just kind of clearing out his uh, stock. He was just kind of overflowing with, uh, you know, loose stuff. And he wanted to, uh, you know, and this is part of the collecting, you know, get rid of some of your old stuff that you're tired of or whatever. And, uh, you know, get some new stuff. So very, very kind of cool. And there are guys that are starting out that would love to get their whole hands on hold of stuff like this. Very nice looking Range Rover. Yes, yes. Little play worn, but not too bad. Very, very cool. Yeah, missing a Range Rover on the hood there a little bit. But very, very nice example there. Well, let's get rid of this gold one right up front. He wants the spotlight. Yeah, another nice example. Yeah, little play worn again, but not bad at all. These things um, can run you a little bit, you know, these older Range Rovers. Uh, getting back in popularity, I think, uh, maybe because uh, there are so many Range Rover owners out. Now, here is a beautiful gem. Beautiful gem. I think, I want to say this just came in a five-pack, I think. VIP, I want to say. Boy, my memory escapes me. But uh, very, very nice. That is very nice. We're going to put that over there so that don't fall off the counter. Yeah, I still haven't got a rug for the floor over here. Here's another five pack, no, 10 pack? Five pack and 10 pack may be exclusive. But uh, if we could focus in here, News Channel 10. Yeah, very cool mobile broadcast unit. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Off colored, kind of metallic. Very, very nice. That's a cool one there. Very, very hard to get a hold of as well. Here's another one that is very, very hard to get a hold of. Little play worn, but excellent condition. Very good. You know, a lot of this stuff, you know, we just pull it out. You know, I don't, I, you know, it probably could use uh, a little bit of cleaning, you know. What does that license plate say anyway? One for, for ventures? Huh, interesting. I don't know if I ever knew that. Huh, cool. But this is the beige one. Very, very cool. Awesome. Oh, here's one that uh, always on the lookout. This is one of the first ones that came out with the... Uh, saw blades on on them very very nice this is very beautiful model here and they all came with uh tow hitches not bad not a big gawky one but just a nice tow hitch very nice this is a nice one too yeah that's gonna go right into the collection there yeah beautiful beautiful here's another one uh 60th years 60 years anniversary of uh the range rover very very nice now that is a um uh, pearl, pearl white there. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. I like that one a lot. All right. I think that's it for really what I was buying. No, here's some more. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here's a, another Freeland. We're going to go back to the Freeland. Tommy, another, uh, metal on metal. This is, uh, yeah, a matchbox, but this is also the Rugrats. Also, oh yeah, here's one that I'm always looking out for, uh, Rescue Heroes. Yeah, I do have a few of these, but these are hard to come by. Uh, you know, the interesting story is that they never really sold these really over in the Matchbox and Hot Wheels department of the store, like in Walmart. They were over in the toddler area. And uh, yeah, so that's why I always walk through and try to find, uh, you know, all everywhere, you know, where I can find toys at, you know. So very, very cool. Here's another uh, Tommy uh, Rugrats. Oh, it's uh, Rugrats on that one, but not this one. Interesting. Uh, once again, metal base. Now that is calf scour yellow if you ever saw one. But anyway, yellow interior, bright blue that's uh, almost kind of kind of metallic to it. Very cool there. Oh, here's another one that is very nice. Uh, this is the Fire Brigade one. Uh, yeah, metal base, metal body. 
boy, you can really tell the difference when they don't have, this is, this actually is a pretty heavy base. This is, uh, but very, very nice one. Yes, Fire Brigade, excellent condition in that one. Awesome, awesome. Once again, thank you. Thank you. Wow, this is a whole collection of uh, of uh, Freelanders. I love the little Freelander. This poor little diecast uh, guy is just way underrated. Uh, they really need to do another Freelander diecast. Maybe they will. Plastic base on this one. Fair price, fair price. That's a... Uh, those are, this one is a really hard one to get a hold of too. The uh, New Mexico Ancient Site Tours. That that one is actually a hard one to get a hold of. Here is another one, Freelander. This is, um, this came in a five pack. Yeah, another one that came in a five pack exclusive. Very, very nice. Awesome there. Oh yeah, here you go. Here's another one. This one is really hard to get a hold of. This one was a holy grail for me for a while, and uh, nice. Thank you very much, Joseph. Got another one. Yeah. this I think this is the last time they did a Rugrats one. I think that's why it's so hard to get a hold of. Maybe a little bit limit more limited uh, on the uh, production. And then uh, uh, the last but not least, this one here. This one uh, also a five-pack sports um, thing. Uh, metal base. Yeah, early on. Very cool, very nice uh, condition. Awesome, man, I can't believe that. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, yeah, he did me some, <laughs> oh, here you go, this is what the extras are. He sent this one, it it's, uh, needs to be a convertible, that's right, awesome. Yeah, first gen, the Mountain uh, Trails, uh, MBX Land Rover 90, spell it out. <laughs> that is awesome. And then, oh, are you kidding me, Joseph? Oh, I got another one of these. Dude, this is awesome. I had one of these. I did a one of video on this. Maybe I'll tag it at the end. That Awesome, cool. Now, now I got two of them. I can display one forward and one backward because that's what I like to do in my collection. And uh, awesome, dude. I think these are... Motorized, no, no, just a nice little clean, crisp Range Rover. Now, this is the full long wheel base one. Look at that, gills on the side. You know, for a plastic model and I from China, uh, very nicely detailed. I mean, as far as um, you know, I mean, the paint job is not you know to be spoke of, but you know, as cast, it's plastic, so they can get you know some nice details in it. But just a nice, crisp, clean, um, you know, casting. Uh, you know, the wheels are, you know, to be said, but, you know, very, very nice. Oh, man, very nice. <laughs> awesome. You know me and my plastic stuff. I love it. I love it. All right, we're going to get out of here. We got to take one car. What's the, this one here, I think, is one of my favorites from the whole bunch here that uh, just hard to get a hold of and really kind of cool. Uh, yeah, the cartoon isn't uh, here anymore. Oh, we're bumping the camera. But anyway, awesome. Thank you very much, Joseph Lowe. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoy what I sent you. Yeah, I sent him uh, kind of a holy grail for him. Uh, man, I don't know if I should show you. I, uh, all right, I'll show you. Yeah, I sent him one of these. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Crikey! Yeah, can you believe it? He didn't have one and he wanted one. And so we worked out a deal there. Awesome. All right, by the way, yeah, come on over to Roverland Facebook and join up there over there. And that's how you can get a hold of me. It's really easy. A friend requests me. No worries there. We can work something out. You trying to get a hold of something? Trying to get rid of something? Let me know. Uh, Instagram, uh, Roverland Channel. And as always, my friends, as I'm on the way out, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.